So, how many of you guys here? Your parents, maybe your teacher, or your friends ever tell you that plan your life or find your passion. Today I'm going to talk about never plan your life and never or don't waste your time finding your passion. You're never going to know where and what you're going to be doing next couple of years. I was born in Japan, a place called Nagano, super super cold, lots of snows, lots of monkeys. <laughs> Moved to the US when I was 14 years old. I didn't know anyone. I didn't speak a word of English. I went to university. That's where I met my wife, relational wife. And my business partner. I worked for corporate for five, six years. I had a chance to work in places like China, Indonesia, Singapore, India, Germany, Poland, all around. It was fun, a lot of different projects, of different industries. And I moved to Malaysia and started a company called Unlock Design. That was only five years ago. Everything is unknown, right? So how can you even plan your life? In Unlock Design, we bring technology, we bring talents, we, we bring corporates from Japan. And you guys know about Pepper? Yeah? 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 Okay, good. Pepper is one of the cutting edge technology we have for AI. Pepper have um, numerous sensors, building camera. Pepper can actually detect and understand your emotion by tone of your voice or facial expression. So we brought this to Malaysia for all this and we organized an event. The very first one in Malaysia, AI Hackathon. And we worked with Malaysia government and also Malaysia universities to bring more awareness about AI and advance the AI market in Malaysia. And uh, the most recent one we did was NASA Space Up Challenge. NASA Space Up Challenge is NASA's incubation program. And it started five years ago with only 15 cities and now grown to more than 160 cities around the world and become the largest international hackathon we have. Two years ago, we had our first one in Malaysia. This is actually in Cyberjaya. We work with Malaysia government, a lot of universities, a lot of corporates, and around 100 participants came to this. That was two years ago. And this year, it was in last April, more than 800 people registered for this. We actually have to stop the registration. It doesn't fit in the venue, so we have to put them in the wait list. So why do I organize all these tech events? Is One is, I see a lot of potential as a Japanese in Malaysia, lots of potential. And second, when I look at tech community in Malaysia, the, each community works in very small group very small sector, let's say VR, they're working in very small group of VR guys and AI is AI, big data is big data, fintech is fintech, big data is big data. But I think when it comes to innovation, innovation is all about bringing completely two different areas into one and coming up something completely new. So I take this NASA Space Up Challenge as a platform to bring everybody on board, mix them up, and one day, who knows, one of the ideas or solution may change or make major impact to Malaysia or the world. You guys, some of you guys may think it's, so are we supposed to plan things or don't plan for this show I was talking about, right? Um, to be honest this year, the one with specific timeline, like events like TEDx, um, meeting deadline for magazine, or for your case, exam, uh, planning for your holiday. So those things you have to plan, you have to plan a lot, right? You have to plan crazy. But the one without a specific timeline, like your career or your life, 
What's the point planning? Two years ago, I had no idea I'd be working with NASA and organizing events, collaborating with all these government agencies and universities and corporates. I had no idea. Three years ago, I never thought I would organize and develop an educational program. <coughs> Five years ago, did I know that I would move to Malaysia and start a company? No. And 10 years ago, who knew I was married to Malaysian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to be honest with you, three months ago, I had no idea I'd be here standing in front of you guys. Life is full of unexpected, and you gotta enjoy that, right? And these days, things change so fast that it's almost impossible to forecast the future. How can you even plan your life? When it comes to planning your life, it actually minimizes your option and narrow down your perspectives. Once again, you never know where and what you're going to be doing the next few years. You should spend more time knowing yourself and knowing your value. Go out there. Experience a lot of things. Go to events. Go meet people. Go overseas. Go enjoy. Go have fun. Do what you want to do. But don't plan your life. Thank you.